do you get told that you're an Islamophobe or? Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess but what, I mean, yeah. What, what, what do you think of that term to start with? What, what do you think of Islamophobia? Well, it's a it's a false term, of course. It was a term made up to try and you know, it's it's a form of blasphemy law. Really, is what it is. So in our countries we have actual blasphemy laws that control people to silence them, to force them not to criticize the religion, or they're going to be imprisoned, or they're going to be killed, or they're going to be lashed in public, or they're going to be killed by their co-workers or by their, um, like in the case of uh, Michelle Khan in Pakistan, by his, his classmates, or even just by random people in the streets, like in the case of Abjit Roy in Bangladesh. Like, you know, you just you're, you're going to be in danger if you speak out against this religion anywhere in, in those countries. So over here in the free West, where they don't have any laws to control us, there is no top down control to make us shut our mouths. They created this bottom up control, which is the term Islamophobia. So it's a way to get useful idiots to use the term to try to silence others from criticizing this religion. And at the end of the day, the Islamists are happy because they're getting what they wanted, whether they're going to do it the way Pakistan and Saudi Arabia do it, or whether they're going to do it using um, this term. At the end of the day, nobody's criticizing Islam. People are too scared to criticize Islam. If you criticize Islam, you're going to end up like the Charlie Hebdo journalists. You're going to end up like Salman Rushdie. I mean, we had a very famous case that's currently happening right now in the United States where a history of art professor brought up a, um, a medieval art that was painted in Persia of Muhammad when he was receiving his, you know, iqra from Gabriel way at the, the beginning, like the first words of the Quran. And it's like this mm -hmm. painting that was created back then. And because it's a history, of, it's an art history course, they're studying one of the pieces of art that they have the option of studying is that piece of art. Now, they don't have to study it if they don't want to. They can study a different one. But just the fact that the professor had the audacity to bring up this How dare him. piece of art in class, yeah, that professor lost their job. And what's oh even worse is the president of the university, if you can believe this, yeah, Adam, I still can't even believe this happened in the United States of America, the professor of the university said, and I quote, the feelings of the Muslim students should supersede academic freedom. What the? The what? president of the university. Yeah. Are we going imagine? back in time to the medieval times where, where the church had entire control and, and trying to silence the voice of science and, and research yeah. and everything? That's the term Seriously. Islamophobia. That's what it is successful in doing.